Hi, my name is Rickard, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you some quick tips and tricks on how to take a photo and turn it into a watercolor painting in Photoshop. Now stick around to the end because I do have an awesome offer for you on my full watercolor painting course. But first, let me show you how to take a photo and turn it into a painting. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to File Open and click on the file called Sunflower. Let's go ahead and open that. We're going to make a copy of the layer with Command J. And then we're going to create a new layer. We're going to call this Canvas. And we're going to pick a color that's a creamish color. So right about there is fine. And then let's go ahead and fill that using Option Delete. And we're going to call this one Artwork. And we're going to convert it to a smart object by right clicking. So there you go, it's now a smart object. We're going to go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and we're going to use the Palette Knife Filter, and we want to stroke size 10 looks about right. We want it just to look painted. So let's go ahead and use a stroke size of 10, stroke detail 3 and 7. That all looks good. Let's hit OK. Now what I want to do is I want the face to have more detail. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Smart Filter Mask, hit B for brush, and with a black brush, I'm going to go ahead and just paint a few spots here that I don't want to have as much of the paint effect. And that looks quite good there. All right. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this look more like a painting. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and put a mask on the layer, but I'm going to hold down Option when I do it so it masks it all out. I'm going to take the opacity down on the canvas just a little bit so I can see where the image is. Then I'm going to select the artwork mask, go ahead and on my brush, make my brush color white, and I'm going to choose this watercolor brush here. I'm going to take the size down so I can see the brush and then hold down Control and Option to size my brush. So right about there looks good. I'm going to right mouse click, turn the angle of it, and then we can click and all of a sudden we're starting to get that painted look. Let's turn the brush around again and click one more time. That looks quite good. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this layer. I'm going to select the mask and using Control and Delete because my background color is black, I'm going to fill that mask in. Then I'm going to go back on my brush tool and select this one, which is a splatter brush. Go ahead and hit that there down here, just hit it a couple times so we get that no, those nice splatters on the edges. That looks quite good. And then finally, I'm going to make one more copy of the layer, and in this one I'm going to delete the layer mask, delete the smart objects. I'm going to go up to Filter, go to Other, High Pass, and I want it to be about 3 pixels. Let's hit OK, and let's put that on Overlay. Now what that's going to do is it's going to have some runoff detail going into our masked area. And also it's going to give the whole thing a little more sharpness. So that looks quite good. And then what I want to do is add just a little texture on top. So let's go ahead, file open, open the 7. Let's go ahead and drag that in. And Command T to size it. Let's make it a bit smaller here. There you go, I just wanted to fill the frame. And let's put that on overlay. And let's take the opacity down. About there, let's add a mask. I don't want it on her face. So let's go ahead and brush it out of her face. Like that. And finally, let's take the opacity on the canvas back up. And let's take these two layers here, put them in a group with Command G. Let's call this artwork. And instead of pass through, I want it on multiply. And then finally, I'm going to add 
a little curves layer just to punch up the whole image a tiny bit. So there you go. That created our watercolor. And now because we use smart objects, here's what we can do. I can double click on the smart object, go file open, take the red door, throw her in here, close it, and voila. Now we have a template that we can use to create similar watercolor brushes. And I can also unlink the mask here, select the mask, and I can transform that so it better fits my new image. All right, so there you have it. That's how you can create a watercolor painting in Photoshop with just a few steps. Now, for the full workflow of creating watercolor paintings in Photoshop, as well as the workflow for smart object based templates, what you need to do is take my full watercolor painting in Photoshop course. The course takes you through a full composite, including all the steps on how to do the composite, and then through all the steps to create a much more realistic watercolor painting than what we did in this short tutorial. The course comes with 10 video lessons and it includes 140 watercolor and splash brushes which are exclusive to this course. So go ahead, right now I have the course on a huge discount. Click on the link below and get your copy of the course. You will not regret it.